Yeah, what's going on guys? Hey, I'm Brant. I'm the Shimano Steps demo driver at Shimano. So I do pretty much any sort of event-based thing, whether it's, you know, bike shop or I'm doing a you know, big non-endemic event, whatever it is, I'm the one that's usually on the road. So um, today we're here at Interbike. Um, we're displaying our E8000 system. Right here we have a kind of a cool non-branded, it's a little KHS or Astro bike. Um, it's one of the first bikes we've ever really had with their E8000 and we just got a whole demo fleet of them as well at the office So hopefully you'll see me on the road next year doing some demos with these guys um, As you see we've got our external battery there We got the new smaller sleeker E8000 motor a little bit smaller than our E6000 um, Kind of a cool little design um, Shaves off a few pounds as well and the biggest thing with this motor is it runs a traditional Q factor and then on top of that since it's so small, you can run traditional chain stay links, you know, wherever it's high 16s or low 17s. So the Q factor is the distance between basically this end of the crank arm and that end of the crank arm. Um, in the past, a lot of manufacturers with e-bikes, it's really hard to have a traditional Q factor length because of the motor. So the bike kind of rides a little bit awkwardly having your feet out. So with this motor being so small and sleek, we're able to narrow that to a traditional, like our XT cranks. Cool, cool. Okay. Great. And then this bike also, has the ability to integrate with our DI2 derailleur. Oh, yeah. So in the past, our E6000 system, you could use an Alphine hub for DI2, but you couldn't use an XT DI2 derailleur, XTR. So this is one of our first bikes we've ever had this on, which is really sweet. Totally, and that's one of the biggest things with it. You know, obviously the smaller you can get in the motor, companies are able to do, you know, be more free with what they really can do with the suspension design, especially companies that use like the Maestro, Maestro suspension or a DW link. Yeah, you really have a lot more options. Yeah, off the top of my head, um, we got Bowles, we have Focus, Cannondale, Haro, KHS, and there's gonna be a few more US ones and maybe a few European models that we'll see over in the States as well. So another kind of cool thing is we have the option of doing an XT crank arm as well on there. Okay. So okay. instead of a kind of a Dior level crank, you can upgrade to an XT. Nice. Um, chain ring options, we'll be doing a 34 or 38. Some manufacturers will be using our 8020, our internal battery, or our external obviously, both um, 500 watt hours. Cool. So 250 nominal, it'll peak at 500 and newton meters will be 70 so our e6000 is six is 50 and it'll be up in 70 obviously so the other kind of cool thing to take note on about our system is we went from our regular bike is goes eco normal high we're going eco trail boost but trail boost you'll actually be able to adjust how much assist you want so you as a user right now it's only through e2 project on pc but it'll eventually be available through our app and the user can go through and customize how much assist they want in those two modes and the assist level will go from 230 to 300% this year. Go. go on shimano-steps.com. Perfect. Great. Thanks, man. Yep.